Hello, everyone. We are delighted to announce that the paper Vortex and Core Detection Using Computer Vision and Machine Learning Methods, published in the journal European Journal of Computational Mechanics, has been awarded the 2023 Best Paper Award. Uh, congratulations to all of the authors. I'm here with the authors of the paper, as well as the editor-in-chief, uh, Ruben Sevilla. Our other editor-in-chief is uh, Rui Cardoso. In this interview, we will be discussing the paper, but first I invite our editor-in-chief to say a bit more about the journal itself and how the best paper was chosen. Hi, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, yeah, um, my name is uh, Ruben Sevilla. I'm a professor at Tronsi University. I'm editor-in-chief of the European Journal of Computational Mechanics. Uh, this is a journal dedicated, as the name indicates, to the latest advances in the field of computational mechanics. So we target the audience that is working on numerical methods and also on applications of novel numerical techniques to problems of industrial interest. Um, I want to mention that this paper actually was part of a special issue. Uh, it was a special issue of computational mechanics applications in aerospace engineering. And this is, was an initiative, uh, part of our agreement in between Juve Publisher and the European Journal of Computational Mechanics with the UK Association of Computational Mechanics. So one of the board members organized this uh, special issue and we found this paper after long consideration and a long number of, of discussions between the editors. Uh, we considered that this was the best paper of 2023. So I would like to congratulate uh, once more the authors, uh, the ones here present and, and the ones that are not present. I know that this was a, a collaborative work in between a long list of researchers. Uh, very impressive work, and at the end there was no hesitation in, in awarding the, the best paper award to, to you all. So perhaps uh, a few questions about your work, and before talking about the paper, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the, the background of your team and the background of the research that you're undertaking in Frankfurt University? Right, okay, so um, basically this is a collective uh, research work. And this involves uh, um, and uh, involve graduate students and also the uh, the lecturers and the research researchers at the Cranfield University and uh, and also this is the multidisciplinary research work uh, with the students and the researchers from the um, artificial intelligence and the data analytics domain and also from uh, with the researchers from the computational uh, dynamics. Um, uh, domain as well, uh, computational flow dynamics domain too. So um, uh, it, it's it's a great actually um, um, endorsement of the success in this collaboration uh, for us. And uh, we uh, we carry out the uh, research uh, in a group uh, joined by the students and the researchers each year. So um, we are uh, planning uh, to publish papers uh, during this uh, group project. Um, so, uh, so this is the the, um, uh, the the background of our research. Uh, Irene, do you have any uh, uh, more to be add to be added? Um, no, I think you have covered everything, Jim. Uh, thank you. Well, very impressive that uh, the the background of all the research and and it's clearly a multidisciplinary work that involves uh, research <laughs> on AI and and research on CFD and computational methods. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit more about the, the actual research that is presented in this paper? Uh, should I start to share some experience? Okay, thank you. So, hello everyone. Thank you very much. And I'm very happy to share a little bit of our research findings uh, with you. Uh, this study is rooted in a crucial issue in aerodynamics and this is the det detection of water vortices and vortex cores. And uh, vortices play a very important uh, uh, role in various techniques such as wind turbines, automotive, uh, and uh, building design. So understanding and detecting these vortices can improve the performance, the efficiency of these products. So for example, for the water turbines, knowing how vortices behave can improve the turbine's efficiency and the lifespan. So our, our motivation was to develop a method that uh, so, uh, uh, currently an efficiency detect vortices and vortex cores. Uh, in order to finish this problem, uh, we propose an integrated framework, framework that combines complete vision and the machine learning techniques to detect vortices and vortex cores. So basically, uh, our framework divided into several key uh, parts. The first one is the simulation, of course. So we use the CFT to simulate a wall to bind blend and generate the images that uh, uh, contain the vortex uh, information. 
And after that, we also did some digitalization to 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 process and standardize the uh, the data to into the images. And after that, uh, we use uh, data, we use uh, vortex detection. Uh, we we imply the Yolo V five S. Uh, to model to for real time object detection to identify the vortex regions in the uh, images. And the reason why we choose the Yolo V5S uh, is because of its high efficiency and uh, in the object detection tasks. And after that, the last step is the vortex core detection. And in this part, we have two pipelines. The first is the compute vision pipeline. Uh, so this part, we extract the key features from the images using image uh, process techniques, such as uh, aspect ratio, area difference, and movement center. That's the key features from it. And uh, after that, we use a machine learning pipeline. And this is uh, in simple machine learning methods, including random forest, uh, Ada boost and XG boost uh, to classify the vortex cores. Uh, some details about uh, and some considerations why we choose the uh, Yolo V5S is because uh, uh, because its performance in real time object detection. Uh, it's used uh, optimized uh, uh, deep convolutionary network to perform detection in a, a single single pass, uh, direct, uh, directly predicting the counting area and the class and class uh, probabilities for multiple object objects. So it's a very it's a very good uh, 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 software for us for us to to use it. And uh, for the vortex core detection, we use uh, ensemble learning methods. Uh, ensemble learning methods combine the performance of different uh, classification methods to provide more precise uh, predictions than individual methods. So especially we use the random forest. For the random forest, it trains decision trees on different subsets of data and features, which helps reduce the overfitting and provide feature importance in estimate. And for the data boost, it's just uh, it's just uh, adjusted simple weights uh, to focus on the previous misclassified um, samples. So it also can improve the classifier's performance. Um, and the last one is XJ boost. Uh, it it is it is efficient for the larger or more complex data set, and uh, it also can further improve the classification accuracy through the gradient boosting. And after we use this framework, uh, our, and uh, we use uh, use our um, ensemble learning method, our hard voting hard hard voting class fair achieved a currency about nearly 19 uh, 98% percent, which only one fourth per, per positive in the test images, and this results through the high accuracy of our our model and framework in detecting the small targets. So like the vortex course. Uh, so that's uh, some some tech ideas, uh, details of our research. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for that detailed uh, explanation. Uh, perhaps one question before we, we start to, to close, uh, because this is a field of research that is being very, very active. So we have seen really an unprecedented use of uh, artificial intelligence in various fields. And uh, this is exactly happening also in our field, in the community of computational mechanics. So may I ask you, I mean, what opportunities and, and potential pitfalls of uh, combining AI com with computational mechanics do you do you see? So uh, this can be um, 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 can be reflected from what we have designed. Actually, we designed three frameworks based on the two techniques, computer vision and machine learning. So which can be extended to to in the future to the different scenarios. Um, I think this perhaps the strength. Another strength is actually we did the, the results uh, using 3D data visualizations. Again, this is another significance which can be reflected in the paper. Uh, so regarding the pitfalls, I think we need to be very careful um, uh, about the results and the methodology uh, because of the, the, the size of the data. Uh, in, th in this um, uh, research, we used uh, one, uh, 133 images. Uh, we believe uh, that uh, they need to be, the frameworks need to be strengthened through uh, the uh, increasing the size of the data, uh, need to be validated further. But we are, we are very uh, optimistic 
regarding the framework as the general um, to generalize the framework further by uh, te uh, by um, testing more data. If I may add here, I think uh, the Good. artificial intelligence is a, is a great tool that can complement the uh, basic sciences. Uh, but we have to be careful because as a tool itself uh, and without the, the proper knowledge and understanding of how the methods work, it can easily mislead people towards the wrong way. So the, the strength of, uh, of the research within this paper is that it actually brings experts from all the aspects of the research work. So starting from the fundamental, the, the computational methods that we have used, an understanding of the physics that these methods have produ produced, because again, computational methods is a tool that if not used appropriately, it can lead to wrong results in the physical way. So having the experts from the application domain in terms of physics, then complementing that with experts in computer vision, expertise that was brought in by my colleagues, Dr. Simal Asif and, uh, doc and uh, Mr. Robert Zumbulis Air, and uh, then complementing that with experts in machine learning and artificial intelligence. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Zengozu and Dr. Junli present with us today. And then such a large project to be coordinated, we had experts from the software engineering domain that we made sure at all times the right appropriate of information was passed in and validated uh, before the steps of the project continued. So it's great to have experts. It's not always possible, and we have to be careful with the expertise available in projects like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I think you, you clearly explained, I mean, the, the nature of this multidisciplinary work, and I think this confirms uh, and basically give us very, very uh, confidence in our in our decision of awarding the best prize award to you. So from my side, congratulations again. Um, I hope that we can see more of your papers in the future in the journal and we will wait waiting for those and wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you very, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.